All right, thanks to my friends over at Bulk Reef. What they got me is they got a, let's see here, a five stage, here it is right here, RODI system for my new store. So Tyler and I are gonna install it. So stay tuned, okay? We had to put up a support board so we weren't going directly in the sheetrock. So Tyler's actually putting the support board up on the wall, as you see. Next in my setup, I had to bring a booster pump in. I'm using the hose hookup that comes with the RODI system, and it's just not enough pressure in there. So as you see, we're hooking up the booster pump. Uh, we decided for ease, we're going to put up a little bit higher, so it's a lot easier to reach. great about these booster pumps that Bulk Reef sells is they're actually plug and play. It's as simple as just screwing it in and plugging a couple adapters in and that's it. Easy peasy. Next, we actually have to hang the whole entire unit. So we decided to use the 200 gallons per day five-stage unit. So it has the one micron, two carbons, and it has the two membranes up top. So Tyler already pre-drilled the holes, and we put the screws in there. We're just leveling it off, make sure it's nice and secure, and then we're tightening up the screws to make sure it doesn't fall off. What's great about buying a unit through Bulk Reef is they actually include the line that you need. Red is for water coming in, blue is for product water, and black is for wastewater. They give you roughly about 10 feet, so you always have a little bit extra. So as you see, I'm starting the hookup process. So the red is going into the booster pump, and then from there, the red is going into the unit itself, and then black is going to actually be going down the drain. Next, we're working up the fifth stage, which is the DI chamber, which is, stands for deionize. So I opted to go over and remove all my GH and my KH because my shrimp, I need to have zero minerals in the water. Now I'm hooking up the pressure switch. So the pressure switch is actually going to run my booster pump. So I'm going to put the blue line into the pressure switch and then run another blue line to where I have my container so I can actually have my float valve. Now we found out that the power adapter itself was a little bit heavy, so we made a little ledge for it. Uh, now we're going to put it on there, plug it in, and see how it works. Let's find out. So when I plugged in, my booster pump fired up, which is great, and I see it's filling up my chambers, and I'm flushing it out for roughly about two minutes. So what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to actually check out my pressure switch um, for shutting off my unit. Good question. All right, I have a float switch right here. Yeah. So what's gonna happen is, this is gonna go on my system, right? When it's down, it's gonna make water. When it floats up, it shuts it out. So right. what happens is pressure builds up in the line. What happens is, if the pressure builds up, I want it to shut off the power to my motor uh, so it doesn't keep on pushing that makes power. Sense. Yeah. So Bulk Reef already has back here, an automatic one where it stops. But when you have a booster pump, it doesn't account for that. Gotcha. So, let's, let's make so it mine fun. at home has an auto, I see. Correct. But it doesn't account for the booster. Correct. So if I do this, and I shut this off, in theory it's going to fill up this. It's yep. going to cause pressure in the system. And it should shut the booster off. Correct. So it's going to fill up everything right here. Nice. We'll see. Fingers crossed. So this would be like if this was floating Ooh, up. Look at all that pressure you got. It's got like 90. That's good. It's going to be tons of water. <laughs> so it's going to fill up this right here, and it's going to start filling up the other jugs, and it should shut off. Yep. Boom. Shut off. Nice. So then my motor. So that, so that just. My motor. So that shuts off the boost, and then the other one takes care of the rest. Correct. Nice. 
Let's select it. Hard percent. And that's how you set up an ROTI unit at a store.